even though the weather's not uh, perfect it's only a little bit of rain in the air and I needed to get out I've been stuck in the last couple of days because it's been absolutely throwing it down so I've tabbed the six miles down to Perrinporth oh, it's not bad down here quite a few people on the main beach mainly dog walkers check that out it's not bad at all and I couldn't resist um, I'm gonna get on the coast path I remember this section was quite tough with all the weight I had but all I've got is water and a tiny bit of food so I'm gonna tab the three mile to Trelvelis, something like that. Oh, that's how you say it. I can get off there and cut up to where I live. I'm looking forward to it. This is how it should be done. Hardly any weight in my pack. I'm flying over these uh, steps and hills that I dragged myself up last time. It's amazing what you notice the second time round. There's a cave over there. And it looks accessible. I'll have to come back and do that. And all this now is on my doorstep. Excellent. What a move. I think it's probably going to be the best thing I've done in a long time. Well, I could rush this. But the weather's going to be alright, so... Three miles and then off probably what three four miles then a little bit of nice lane walking which in itself is quite uh, sweet ah beautiful bring on the summer that's what I say and the other benefit is I know I'm gonna get into a bed tonight not a half soaking tent <laughs> I've got to give it to the people who plan their routes that well and sleep in B&Bs every night. I mean, that's got to be sweet. But expensive and a little bit wimpy. <laughs> ah, excellent. Even though this section is a lot of rock and I'm pretty sure there's some really good old mine workings up on the top there which I really didn't investigate because I was walking the path but you can't get away from this I mean there are big muddy pools of water and this is nothing compared to what it's like when I walked it it was bad squidge yeah I think I'll take uh, 20 minutes or so have a quick scoot around the mine workings possibly get some better po photos than I did last time yeah I do regret not taking uh, more video but it was just getting it possess uh, possessed possessed <laughs> processed possessed video yeah so that's why I really stopped doing as much as I could I haven't seen any seals today I saw quite a few on this section last time. Perhaps when I get round onto the uh, other point. There we go. It's uh, all the old mine workings. In fact, mile after mile of this section of coast is littered with old mine buildings what's left of them some of them have been turned into heritage and really looked after I'm not sure if there's one before I get off this path I mean I'm thinking I could walk down to St Agnes and double up from there but see what the weather's doing now I have a choice yeah, there's loads of this stuff up here but the uh the banks and stuff like that you can tell the mountain bikers come up here because the, the way that the tracks are worn out yeah I think this bed here is tree V 
Vallis or whatever. I have to learn how to say that name if I'm going to live here. And the next bay over there is St. Agnes. But what would have taken me what, an hour from Perrin Puff with the pack? It's taken me 20 minutes or so. It's very nice. This is one of the reasons why I rushed off this section as well. I mean, look at this ground. I mean, what the hell are you supposed to do with that? <laughs> oh, you can't pitch on it unless you're going to drill the holes first. This is just rock everywhere. I mean, you could clear a section. <laughs> it's not even moving. I don't think you'd even get a tent peg in there. And everything that isn't rock is covered with this stuff, which is just as bad. And I think, what did I do at this point? Yeah, I walked through St. Agnes and I camped the other side of St. Agnes because I, I finally found a, a flat spot with no thorns on it and no rocks. But if you're expecting to uh, pitch a tent up in the wind, it ain't gonna happen on this spot. I don't know if you can see that, the red color in that cliff on this thing. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah, this whole area re reminds me of Blind Avon in Wales, which uh, also has a history of being mined to death. That's probably why I enjoyed it so much. Apart from the fact that I couldn't camp on it. When it gets a bit better up there, it's actually, look, it's actually dirt. But at the time it was too windy and there's no way I could have had the tent there. Yeah, I'm going to get off at uh, Chuvalis and walk home. Uh, I'd like to walk into St. Agnes, but I have other things to do today. And the weather's not peachy. But I can always come back and do that another day without weight ha beautiful and I will definitely be up here in the summer camping no tent camping which will be nice I mean because if I'm going to worry about a tent I could just lie there or over there it doesn't really matter it would be nice to get a fire on the go but there is nothing to burn apart from these little grief bushes and they're terrible a couple of trees up there yeah. I know there's a better spot further on, but I mean this place, I've seen lots of evidence of old fires and everything, so I mean there are a lot of people who come up here and do the same thing. But it would be nice to have a cookout when the weather gets better and those nice summer nights won't be long. As beaches go, the best one I came across was just outside Newquay. Cooked something beach, absolutely stunning. But as for uh, coastal scenery, this whole section is amazing. I'll be getting off soon, I think. Yeah, it's just over there. Uh, people coming. Oh, I wanted a wee as well. <laughs> Ah, oh, I don't have to let these people get past me. I have to rush. Getting old, can't hold it like I used to. I don't want to get too close to the edge because I'll go in. And that's one thing I ain't coming back from. Yeah, I'm really pleased with the weather. I mean, it was supposed to drizzle quite a bit today, which I was willing to accept just for a, a nice bit of exercise. But uh, it hasn't. It's stayed quite sweet, so I think I'd better uh, make the most of it, cut my losses, and uh, get home before it does start raining. And this is where I get off. St. Agnes is there. There's a lane here which should take me up to where I need to be. 
and also there's some of the, the better preserved mine workings down there which I did put photos on the blog but I didn't make a video of I mean I could walk into St Agnes but the road out of St Agnes to where I need to be is a bit leery um, I'd rather walk a quiet lane believe it or not there's actually no surfers in St Agnes Bay and it's Saturday afternoon it's bizarre there's usually one or two out there oh. yeah we're right by Perrinporth Airport which um, handles light aircraft there's a lot in and out today oh, this has been so nice so nice without all that extra weight if you could magic water out of thin air and not worry about getting wet or cold it would be beautiful it would be really nice I could do what 20 miles a day 30 miles a day instead of struggling with what 10 15 and then being absolutely knackered at the end of it whoa almost fell <laughs> watch your feet not the GoPro Right, I'm going to call it then, time to get on the road, hopefully this will take me right to where I need to be because then it's an easy access to the coast then, than walking down to Perrinporth, I mean it's not far but it's still a good four miles, I mean if this is three miles to home that would be nice because that's a lovely piece of coast over there, campable as well. Right, let's get going.